Hey guys and girls, let's talk a little bit about fishing the edges of grass lines. And you can fish the edges of grass lines with a lot of different baits. I'm going to fish them today with plastic and uh, we'll just fish a little bit and see what happens. But we're going to show you some edges of grass lines and talk about what you need to be looking for. One of the important things on grass lines is you either need to be able to see the grass lines, which in order to see them, they need to be up high enough you can see them and you need to have some really good polarized glasses. I wear so solar bat, Jimmy Houston solar bat sunglasses and they can see down into the water really, really well. Cuts the glare off and you can see into the water well. So many times you can see the grass down under the water and you can see the edges, you can see the little points, see the indentations. A fish locator like we've got right here, a Garmin, this particular one is looking forward, a forward, it's a live scope facing forward. And you can look right now and you can just see right here and I'm sort of sitting on spotlight, but I'm gonna move around a little bit. And you can see on this right here where the edge of that is. You see the grass, I'm looking out here, this is looking out here 60 feet. 60 feet away, my boat is right here. You can see this is the edge of the grass line, right here. That's the edge. All of this is grass, and that grass is coming up seven foot at the top. Up here, it gets, comes up a little higher up there. This is out, of, out here, and it's coming down. Now, I'm in 11 foot of water. This is the top of my grass. This is the edge. This is the edge right here. Okay, now what I'm going to do here on these edges now, I've moved a little bit here, and I've got kind of off where I've got a lot of grass out in front of me. I'm going to kind of turn around and try to pick an edge here in just a second. But what I want to do is I want to get up there, and I want to throw actually not right at the edge. I want to throw into the grass a little bit and that's one of the reasons one of the reasons that we use a soft plastic is because you can throw it in that grass and let it work down through the top of that grass and then as you get through it you're working it through it and you're shaking working through it and you get to the edge and let it drop on that edge. Now you can look as we look out here now this is a real good distinct edge. You see this out here that's kind of petering out there and right there's the edge right there and uh, so that's right out in front of me and now if I cast very far out there, I'm gonna be off of that edge. There's a fish right there, as a matter of fact. Big old fish right there. He might be coming after my bait. There's my bait's way back. My bait dropped way back behind there. I thought that fish for a second was coming after my bait. He started, started up. Now, I've actually got the edge just kind of behind me. I wanna back up just a little bit. I was looking forward out there with that. Now you can see it now. And what's happening there? It looks like the, that the grass is going behind me. That's because I got the boat in reverse. I'm backing up. Now you can see how distinct that edge is. You see how that distinct that edge is. Now what I want to do, what I want to do in fishing is uh, is I want to throw into the grass. I want to throw into the grass. I want to throw into the grass and work my bait along kind of close to the edge of it. This is about 10 foot. I want to throw my bait and work it around this edge and get over here and then let it fall off on that edge. I'm going to swing the boat around a little bit. It's the easiest thing to do. Now if I throw right out in there, I'm throwing in open water. I'm off of the edge. You see now all out in front of me right now is all open water, 13 feet deep. Oh, so there's a fish down there. Big old fish swimming right there. Now that fish wasn't swimming that fast. My boat is moving, as it looked like that. So what I'm gonna do, now there's an edge coming up right there. I've turned around and you see the edge. So what I'm gonna do, and you can see the bottom here and it comes up as it starts to come up, that, that's where we've got grass. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna throw my bait over there. I might not have got out there far enough. I might not have got in it. But I want my bait to drop down in the grass a little bit. I don't want it, there's my bait going down right there. So I missed it. I actually really hit pretty close to that edge. I'm going to go ahead and work that bait just a little bit. You can see the bait. This is my bait working right here. I got that grass there. I hit around that edge of that grass. So really that wasn't, that wasn't too bad a cast right there. It was a little bit short of, of making the grass. It's in about 15 foot of water. I don't see any fish down there. But now a lot of these fish are going to be in the edge of this grass that you can't see. Now sometimes you can see them in the grass. Make a little bit lo longer cast out there. Make that longer cast. My bait hit right here, and so it's falling, falling down right there. I don't see it falling. There, I saw it there just a little bit. But now I should be in the grass a little bit. That's what I want to do. I want to let my bait go down until I feel it in the grass. Once I feel it in the grass, I'm going to start working to that edge. The edge is where you'll catch a lot of fish right around where those edges fall off. So you want to work your bait down through that edge. So here's what I want to do. I'm going to work my bait down through there. I feel the grass. As soon as I feel it, I just shake my right tip. See how little I'm moving that right there? I'm not moving that bait very much at all. Letting it hit in that grass and fall. That's my bait falling right there, by the way. Oops, 
I need to hit that. And that's what that, that's what you want to do now. To work the edges. Now, as you work down through here, you could actually pretend that that edge is the bank, the shoreline, and you can turn and go down the edge and turn your turn your live scope over. If you get if you're looking at a live scope, turn your live scope over and let it look at that edge out in front of you. Now, see, I'm in the grass right there. See, I'm, my bait is in the grass, which is what I want. I want to just bounce it out of the grass a little bit and let it fall. There's my worm falling right there. That's my worm. It's falling right there. It's falling right down through there. Falling in that little hole, which is a good place for it to fall. Now I'm back in that grass. Now I'm going to come through that little bit of grass right there. Now the boat's moving now, so I'm not. That's that's not me. That's just a fish swimming right there. A smaller fish. But now that I know what this is, I can take it. I'll take my turret. I've got a right height turret. I'll turn my turret to the side at about a 45 degree angle. And now I can kind of watch that grass as I'm moving down this grass line. Now I'm a long way away from the bank, but my grass line is right out there. So I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw my bait out there and work it down the edge of that grass line. I'm in the grass, that's where I want to be. In the grass. My boat now is sitting in water that's not in the grass. Now I've got two locators up here, so I look at my front Garmin and I can see that I've got it on down vision, so right under my boat is no grass. I've got my turret faced over this way, so what I'm looking at on my live scope, I can see the edge of that grass, and now I can go down there and fish the edge of the grass. Now keep in mind, I don't really want to throw right to the edge. What I want to do with the soft plastic, and I've got, this is a Lucky Strike creature bait. It's got the Hydra tails on them, extremely good creature bait. Might help if I put the hook in the worm. Keep from getting hung in that grass. And I want to throw up to the grass, in the grass, I'm gonna let my bait drop down in the grass. I should be able to feel grass right there because I can see it on my live scope that the edge is right there. Okay, I'm in the grass, so I'm gonna pull through the edge of that grass, just bounce through easily, shake my rod tip, bounce through, and let that bait fall down to the edge. Now, once it gets to the edge, those fish like to lay relatively close to those edges. Now I can also watch and see if I see any little points or anything coming out there. Um, and look at my down scope on my other unit. Now I can look at that and see that I have no grass under the boat. So now I'm totally out of the edge. Now what I've done here is I've just simply come to a tree. <laughs> tree that big you might want to make six or eight casts in actually. Now I'm back over here again where I can, I can look at the edge. And now this edge is further out closer to the boat than that other edge. Now what that means when I look at that is I can see that that edge was up there and now it's right here. So that edge has come out here and made a point. So this is a good deal. We want to fish around these points. This is the area we want to really concentrate on a little bit because our edge has come out and formed a little point. And anytime we can find those points, those are better places to catch fish. Just like a point of land that you can visually see, we're simply looking at a point of grass under the water because this grass comes way further out here than it did right back there was a minute ago. So we know we have come out and we're forming a little point right here. That's the kind of stuff that you want to look for when you're trying to fish points or when you're trying to fish the edges of grass. And that's what happens on a point right there. <laughs> I love it when the plan comes together. Not a giant. Now here's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to reach out on my Minn Kota and hit my spot lock. Now my boat is going to stay right here, so now I don't have to worry about my fish locator. All I got to do now is just cast. I've, I've caught this fish on the point. Big, beautiful fish. Not a giant, but just a fat, healthy fish. Fun fish to catch. Delicious sugar. Now my boat is turning around on me here because I've got it on spot lock. So I don't have to get in any big hurry. I can take my time. Enjoy that fish. He's a real big one. I could take a picture of him. Send a rolling. Add two pounds to the weight, like he does. Make it my crawl a little bit. I called that a creature bait, didn't I? It's a crawl, not a creature bait. I don't know what I called it. To the fish, honestly, there's not much difference between a creature bait and a crawl, I don't think. It's just us fishermen, there's a little difference. That's a craw, that's a crawfish, not a creature bait. But now, and I don't know what's gonna happen, we'll see. 
But now my boat has stayed right exactly where I caught that fish. I don't really have to worry about that. That's pointing off out here in some grass. I know I don't have any grass under me. I'll throw right back out there at the same spot. Now I'm gonna land in the grass, just like I did a minute ago. Let the bait fall down until it hits the grass. Start feeling the grass. And then I'm gonna do this very slowly, easy moving, barely moving my rod tip. You see how much I'm moving my rod tip? That's it. Ooh, I got a bite and missed it. I'm sure I missed my worm up. That was a small fish right there. But now we can duplicate how we caught that fish. We're fishing the exact same situation. Now, there might only be one fish in that spot. There might be two fish in that spot. There might be 50 or 100 fish in that spot. Probably not. But there might be four, five, or six, or eight. I mean, very likely that you can catch more fish. So with the tools that we have nowadays to fish with, uh, that would have been a lot pretty difficult to do right there, exactly the way I've been doing it. 10 or 15 years ago, 20 or 30 years ago, it'd be all but impossible to do that. Probably we would have found that grass with a deep diving crankbait and then probably maybe fish some soft plastic around it. But now I can find it totally, totally with my units, looking at that grass, knowing right where that edge is, throw my bait up, work it through that edge till it gets to the edge slowly, barely moving it. I mean, you see how little I'm moving that rod tip out that far, that's it. Letting that bait wiggle a little bit, come out of there, drop off that edge catch another one golly look at this sports fans I want you to look at this look at this oh my goodness my goodness oh my goodness look at that there is a two and a half pound crappie with that lucky strike crawfish in it look at the si oh man I don't mean to mean to drop you golly oh. golly I hope I didn't hurt you, big girl. Look at the size of that crappie. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is a giant. Oh, I didn't mean to drop you in the boat there, big guy. Wow, wow. He says, throw me back then. You already brought me on the bottom of the boat. Wow, what a crappie. What a crappie. Look at the size of that thing. Golly. Man, what a beauty. I would never fillet a crappie that big. That would be nice hanging on the wall, though, i got to admit that. But, oh, my gosh. Okay, that was two casts after I caught that initial fish. I moved all the way down that edge, didn't get a bite. Finally got one to come out and made a little point and uh, hit my spot lock, stopped my boat. I made three more casts in there, and I missed a fish and caught two. Now, I don't know how many fish are there. i got to tell you, when I get through talking to you, I'm going to pick my rod and reel up and throw my crappie bait in there a little while because <laughs> I happen to have one tied on. I'm in that grass right now, barely coming through it, trying to hit that edge. When it hit that edge, now it's going to fall off. And hopefully that's when a fish that's laying close to that edge will come and get it. It's happened, actually it's happened four consecutive casts. One I missed. Okay, it didn't happen then. That may be all the fish that's there. There might have been two bass and a crappie. The one that I missed in, is a good possibility. It was a, it was a crappie. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make, I'll hit some, a little patch of, that's just extra grass out there I hit. Turn my live scope over there and look at that a little bit. Okay, I can't help myself. I'm going to make one more throw in there with my lucky crawl. Whoops, whoops, whoops. <laughs> I missed a cast or two. That's a little one there. That's only about a pounder. Guys and girls, find you some edges of the grass. If you've got good electronics, that's going to help. If you don't, use some crankbaits and use your plastics and just pay attention to what you're doing. And you can feel that stuff out there and you can know where the edges are. The best way is with electronics. But if you don't have them, you can still find out. How do I know? I fished for years and years and years with no electronics and still caught fish. Common sense, that's what's smart. Remember guys and girls, I surely love you.